I tie my laces and walk adjacent to Father's patience. Right next to Satan, the sin lies, they come me Raymond. Can't grow complacent, my heart is racing, the Lord is waiting. I follow in his footsteps, it's not complicated. I've been living in this hell, so I gotta make it. This could be my only chance, so I gotta take it. So I gotta take it. Brothers been tripping for too long, so I've been walking face up through the mud with my boots on. And I'll be damned if I do wrong. I just hate when the news on. Cause all I'm seeing is depression and oppression all up in their face. And they wanna give up on a day by day. Just know the Lord, He is making a way. So if you keep in the faith, hold your head high, it's gonna be okay. And I don't even feel no more. My people getting killed, it's getting really real. And they don't wanna live on, oh, no. No, no. It's cause of the sin, why we always gotta die on the block Why our sisters always gotta cry on the block And mama feel the pain when I walk, how I walk If you hate how I talk, why you talk like that? Like Burn clothes in my two sides See the block is getting too high Time's running low, need a new eyes They fell for the do I that thing, that thing I really, really wish you knew that you I've been through all these extreme things I'm trying to figure out what happened to you and me, things. Trying to figure out what happened to you and the mind I'm flipping on the nose and hear the blues when I see things I see hatred all around Fighters and murders with a frown My brother in a puddle on the ground Like what the hell we gonna do now? When everything is going south Remember who you are, pick up your car My people feel no more Feel no pain when they kill no more And I don't even feel no more. My people getting killed, it's getting really real. And they don't wanna live on, oh, no. No, no. It's cause of the sin, why we always gotta die on the block. Why our sisters always gotta cry on the block. And mama feel the pain when I walk, how I walk. And she hates how I talk, why you talk like that, like that. Feel I tie my laces and walk adjacent to Father's patience. Right next to Satan, the sin lies, they come me Raymond. Can't grow complacent, my heart is racing, the Lord is waiting. I follow in his footsteps, it's not complicated. I've been living in this hell, so I gotta make it. This could be my only chance, so I gotta take it. So I gotta take it. This could be my only chance, so I... Brothers been tripping for too long, so I've been walking face up through the mud with my boots on. And I'll be damned if I do wrong. I just hate when the news on Cause all I'm seeing is depression and oppression all up in their face And they wanna give up on a day by day Just know the Lord, He is making a way So if you keep in the faith, hold your head high, it's gonna be okay And I don't even feel no more My people getting killed, it's getting really real And they don't wanna live on, oh, no, no, no It's cause of the sin, why we always gotta die on the block Always gotta cry on the block The mama feel the pain when I walk, how I walk If she hates how I talk, why you talk like that? Like Burn clothes in my two sides See the block is getting too high Time's running low, need a new eyes They fell for the do I that thing, that thing I really, really wish you knew that you I've been through all these extreme things I'm trying to figure out what happened to you and me, things Trying to figure out what happened to you and the mind I'm flipping on the nose and hear the blues when I see things I see hatred all around Fighters and murders with a frown My brother in a puddle on the ground Like what the hell we gonna do now When everything is going south Remember who you are, pick up your car My people feel no more Feel no pain when they kill no more I 
and I don't even feel no more. My people getting killed, it's getting really real, and they don't wanna live oh no. No, no. It's cause of the sin, why we always gotta die on the block. Why sisters always gotta cry on the block. The mama saw the pain when I walk, I walk, and she hates how I talk. Why you talk like that, like that? I tie my laces and walk adjacent to father's patience. Right next to Satan, the sin lies that come me raiment. Can't grow complacent, my heart is racing, the Lord is waiting. I follow in his footsteps, it's not complicated. I've been living in this hell, so I gotta make it. This could be my only chance, so I gotta take it. So I gotta take it. Brothers been tripping for too long, so I've been walking face up through the mud with my boots on. And I'll be damned if I do wrong. I just hate when the news on. Cause all I'm seeing is depression and oppression all up in their face. And they wanna give up on a day by day. Just know the Lord, He is making a way. So if you keep in the faith, hold your head high, it's gonna be okay. And I don't even feel no more. My people getting killed, it's getting really real. And they don't wanna live on, oh, no. No, no. It's cause of the sin, why we always gotta die on the block Why sisters always gotta cry on the block The mama saw the pain when I walk, I walk And she hates how I talk, why you talk like hey, that? Burn like clothes in my two sides See the block is getting too high Time's running low, need a new watch They fell for the do out that thing, that thing I really, really wish you knew that you I've been through all these extreme things I'm trying to figure out what happened to you and me, man Trying to figure out what happened to you and the demon I'm flipping on the nose and hear the blues when I see things I see hatred all around Fighters and murders with a frown My brother and a puddle on the ground Like what the hell we gonna do now When everything is going south Remember who you are, pick up your car My people feel no more Feel no pain when they kill no more And I don't even feel no more. My people getting killed, it's getting really real. And they don't wanna live, oh no. No, no. It's cause of the sin, why we always gotta die on the block. Why sisters always gotta cry on the block. The mama saw the pain when I walk, I walk. And she hates how I talk, why you talk like that, like that? Dream. We are not a hate group. We are not affiliated with any other Israelite group. Israel United in Christ is a nonviolent Bible-based movement. 
we do not advocate or condone any acts of violence against any race, ethnicity, or gender. We advise that if anyone hears or knows of any plots to cause harm to anyone or to break the laws of the land, you must contact the proper authorities to bring awareness to any possible threat, as stated in Leviticus 5 and 1. To be better than me. Truth be told. You are now truth tuned in to Truth Be Told. This is what we must do to avoid and be. Truth be told. Truth be told. And blacks and Hispanics are family. Truth be told. Truth be told. I just pray you see Christ when you see me. Truth be told. Truth be told. Yes, these men spoke wisdom because they understood the scriptures. Read. A lot of people in that stronghold, and again, that's why our communities are in the shape that they're in because of sin. Yeah, that's when we bring out Christ and black people say color don't matter, but yet they ride into the movie theaters on elephants with kente claws right. because of a black superhero, but the color of Christ All don't matter. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof. Correction is for instruction in righteousness. That hidden ones because our people don't know that we're the Israelites according to the Bible. Welcome back to Truth Be Told DC. I'm Officer Matthew. To my left, Officer Phineas. Officer Mendel. To my right, Officer Michael. So today's title is The Armies of God. That's right. We're going to go into the scriptures and show uh, a little bit of the power of the armies of the Most High God and what and some things of what they're capable of doing and have done. So let's before we get into that, open up with John 8, 32. This is the book of John, chapter 8 and verse 32. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So the truth is, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans make up the 12 tribes of Israel, and you're called to repentance in the last days. So let's jump right into it. Let's go to the, open up with the book of Tobit. The book of Tobit, chapter 5 and verse 1. Uh-huh. Tobias then answered and said, Father, I will do all things which thou hast commanded me. That's a good son right there. Read. But how can I receive the money, seeing I know him not? Mm-hmm. Then he gave him the handwriting and said unto him, Seek thee a man. Which may said unto him, Seek thee a man which may go with thee, mm-hmm. whilst I yet live, and I will give him wages, mm-hmm. and go and receive the money. Read. Therefore, when he went to seek a man, mm-hmm. he found Raphael. He found that, what? Raphael, that was an angel. Oh, okay. So he done ran on Raphael the angel. Want to say something, officer? Yeah, I was gonna say. He said he he uh, was looking. He seek a man. So meaning what? That right. angel was looking like a man. Watch this. But he knew not. And he said unto him, Canst thou go with me to rages? And knowest thou place as well? Right. So he didn't even know that he was an angel. So he asked him, Can you go with me on this journey? So let's keep it moving. Let's go to uh, Genesis chapter 32. So the, the, the angel, they, he couldn't even tell it was an angel. I mean, yeah, give me, give me Joshua. Give me Joshua. Excuse me. Give me Joshua. Give me Joshua chapter. The book of Joshua, chapter 5, and verse 13. Uh-huh. And it came to pass, when Joshua was by Jericho, 
that he lifted up his eyes and looked, mm-hmm. and behold, there stood a man over against him with his sword drawn in his hand. So this man had his sword drawn in his hand. Read. And said unto him, Art thou for us or for our adversaries? So Joshua asked him, Who you for? You with us or you with the adversaries? Read. And he said, Nay, but as captain of the host of the Lord. Hold on, he said what? As captain of the host of the Lord. So that's he's the captain of the host of the Lord, meaning the, uh, the armies of God, man. Read. Am I now come? Uh huh. And Joshua fell on his face to the earth mm-hmm. and did worship and said unto him, What saith my Lord unto his servant? Mm-hmm. And the captain of the Lord's host the, said unto the who? And the captain of the Lord's host uh-huh. said unto Joshua, Loose thy shoe from off thy foot. Mm. As for the place wherein thou standest is holy. And Joshua did so. Right. So, you know, Moses got that same order. Understand that thing. So that angel was before before Joshua. So let's keep it moving. Let's go to uh let's go to Genesis chapter 32. The book of Genesis, chapter 32, and verse 24. Mm-hmm. And Jacob was left alone. And there wrestled a man with him mm. until the breaking of the day. So our forefather Jacob wrestled a man all day. Read. And when he saw that he prevailed not against him. So when this man saw that he couldn't prevail against our forefather. He touched the hollow of his thigh. Uh-huh. And the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of point. Out of, uh, out of joint. Uh-huh. As he wrestled with him. So he knocked, and then, in other words, he dislocated his hip. That's what that's going into, man. Read. And he said, let me go. For and, the, and he was still wrestling with a dislocated hip. Read. Let me go for the day breaking. Mm-hmm. And he said, I will not let thee go, mm-hmm. except thou bless me. Mm-hmm. And he said unto him, what is thy name? And he said, Jacob. And he said, thy name shall be called no more Jacob, uh-huh. but Israel. But who? But Israel, Uh for as a prince hast thou power with God Mm. and with men Mm. and hast prevailed. Wow. That's crazy, man. He wrestled an angel, man, until the breaking of the day. So those are things that, you know, we got instances where they they showing our forefather wrestled them and was able to wrestle them throughout the day. So let's go on. Let's, um, Let's pull up this video real quick. Let's pull up this video real quick. Run a quick video for you all. So now we know Esau be running all kinds of tricks. That might not be a real video, but it's just an example of what an angel could do, something like that. You know what I mean? Like they got the abilities to do those type of things. Right. We're going to show that in the scriptures. Let's go to Hebrews. I mean, no, let's go to um, Matthew chapter 2. Let's go to Matthew chapter 2. The book of Matthew chapter 2 and verse 13. And when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeareth to Joseph in a dream. Right. So the, this angel appeared to our forefather Joseph. Read. Saying, Arise, and take the young child and his mother, mm-hmm. and flee into Egypt, mm-hmm. and be thou there until I bring thee word. For Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. Right. Just like they trying to destroy our children today through abortion, the education system, religion, you know, uh, the, the angel gave our forefather, Joseph, they said, hey, look, take the child out because Herod's seeking to destroy the child. Read. Yeah, go to 19. Go to Verse 19. 19. But when Herod was dead, behold, an angel of the Lord uh-huh. appeared, appeareth in a dream to Joseph in uh-huh. Egypt, saying, arise and take the young child and his mother and go into the land of Israel. 
Mm. For they are dead which sought the young child's, child's life. Right. So these angels even got the power to go into your dreams and tell you something. That's a lot of power there. So you don't just see him physically. And as we read it in the scriptures, they entered into his dream and told him uh, the news that Herod was dead and he could return back. So let's, let's keep it moving. Uh, let's go to Acts chapter 12. The book of Acts chapter 12 and verse 5. Hey, hold, hold real quick. I want to get something while you was getting that. Go to Job 33 real quick and 14. Uh, just to pick up on what you just said. Right there, what you just pulled out. Yeah, Job's. The book of Job chapter 33 and verse 14. For God speaketh once, yea, twice, yet man perceiveth it not. Read. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men, in slumberings upon the bed, read. then he openeth the ears of men and sealeth their instruction. So that's just what we just read. Read verse 17. Verse 17. That he may withdraw man from his purpose and hide pride from man. So he'll give you a whole nother mission. That's exactly what he did with our forefather right there. That's right. the same exact thing. Right. Gave him his instructions in his sleep and told him to return back. Herod was dead. Verse 18. He keepeth back his soul from the pit and his life from perishing by the sword. So that thing heavy, that you get instructions in your night so you can avoid calamity in the day. That's some heavy stuff, man. So let's go to, uh, let's go to the book of Acts real quick. Let's get Acts. The book, 12. the book of Acts chapter 12 and verse 5. Mm -hmm. Peter, therefore, was kept in prison, mm -hmm. but prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God for him. Read that again. Peter, therefore, was kept in prison, uh -huh. but prayer, but what? But prayer mm -hmm. was made without ceasing of the church unto God for him. Right, so that's showing that we got to pray for our leadership just as uh, uh, they prayed for Peter back in the day. We got to do the same thing for our leadership. Understand that thing is power and prayer. And what happened? Read on. And when Herod would have brought him forth, uh -huh. the same night Peter was sleeping between two soldiers. Right, they had him in between two soldiers sleeping. Read. Bound with two chains. Uh, and locked up. And the keepers before the door kept the prison. Right, and they had guards at the doors. Read. And behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him. Uh huh. And a light shined in the prison. Mm. And he smote Peter on the side. So he hit him on the side. And raised him up, saying, Arise up quickly. And his chains fell off from his hand. Right. He didn't even, the chains just fell off. That's the power of the angels. The chains, he stood up and the chains fell off. And the angel said unto him, Gird thyself and bind, and bind on thy sandals. Told him to put on the shoes. And so he did. And he saith unto him, Cast thy garment about thee and follow me. Man, he said, put your coat on. We about to roll out of here. So that's the angel came and did the, did the prison break. You know, they did the TV series Prison Break. That's the original prison break right there, man. And that thing wasn't 75 episodes. Understand that thing. One right, one night. You, is that it on that? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, read, read verse 11. And he went out and followed him and wist not that it was true, which was done by the angel. Right, he couldn't even believe his own eyes, man. But thought he saw a vision. Uh -huh. He was still sleep hallucinating. That's how crazy it was. You get hit, wake up. Cups fall the, off your hand. Right. Uh, yeah, <laughs> cups fall off. The guards still sleep. You're making all this noise, putting your shoes and sandals on and, and coat, and you walk, you walk out yeah. the front door. With that bright light, nobody sees Right. It. <laughs> when, they were, when they were past the first uh -huh. and second ward, they came unto the iron gate that leadeth into the city. Right. He walked through the, you know, they got the wards, they got the interior of the prison, yep, yep. and then the ring out. He walked through all that. And they went out, mm. which opened to them of it. Wait. When they were past the first and second ward, mm -hmm. they came into the iron gate that leadeth into the city, mm. which opened to them of his own accord. Mm. So he came out to meet the, the, the same people that was praying for him. The Lord heard that prayer, man, delivered him. And they went out. And passed on through one street, mm -hmm. and forthwith the angel departed from him. Right. So the angel just rolled out. And when Peter was come to himself, he said, Now I know of a surety that the Lord has sent his angel. Had the Lord had did what? Have sent his angel. Uh-huh. And have delivered me out of the hand of Herod, mm. and from all the expectation of the people of the Jews. Damn, that's going into the coons of our people. Wanted Peter to get put to death. That's ridiculous. He had to, Herod was his enemy and his own people. That's a damn shame. 
But we're not going to get sidetracked on that. We're going we gonna to stick to the mission. So he knew that was an angel that did that thing. So let's, where we at right now? Yep, yep, go ahead, get that. The book of Matthew chapter 4 and verse 10. Mm -hmm. Then saith Jesus unto him, get thee hence Satan, for it is written, thou shalt worship the Lord thy God. So this is Christ out there being tempted after fasting 40 days and nights. Being tempted, read. And him only shalt thou serve. Right, so he hit him with the commandments. That's how you rebuke the devil, man. Yep. Then the devil leaveth him. The what? Then the devil leaveth him. Get, uh, uh, give me that real quick in James, man. Resist the devil and he'll flee. I think it's in four, man. Watch this. This is how you resist the devil. You know when Christianity tell you, shake, shake, shake. Shake the, nah. Mm -mm. You got to hit the devil with these scriptures or he ain't going nowhere. What's that? James 4 and 7. What's that? Resist? 4 and 7. Yep, 4 and 7. That's it. The book of James, chapter 4 and verse 7. Uh huh. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Uh huh. Resist the devil. Do what? Resist the devil. Uh huh. And he will flee from you. Go back to that. Christ broke that thing down already in Matthew, man. He resisted him. Read, that. read how he resisted the devil. Let's read that again for the, uh, for the audience, man. The book of Matthew, chapter 4 and verse 10. Uh huh. Then said Jesus unto him, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, Read. and him only shalt thou serve. Then the devil leaveth him. What? Then the devil leaveth him. Uh -huh. And behold, angels came and ministered unto him. Right. You see that? So the angels came down and ministered unto Christ, took care of Christ, nourished him, man. After 40 days and 40 nights, then the devil came. That's how it works, and it's true. you always going to get hit at your lowest point. That's why we got examples in the scriptures. Because believe me, the, our forefathers went through way more extreme situations and scenarios. That's why Paul said that in Romans 15. Whatsoever is written aforetime is written for our learning. We, nobody fasting for 40 days, then Satan coming up, hitting them with the temptation. Understand that thing. So let's keep it moving because we got we got a good amount to cover. The book of Luke, chapter twenty-two and verse forty. Read. And when he was at the place, he said unto him, "Uh huh. Pray that you enter not into temptation." Read. And he was withdrawn from them about a stone's cast. Uh huh. And kneeled down and prayed. Right, because this Christ, know he about to, you know, he about to lay down his life for the nation of Israel. Read. Saying, Father, if thou be willing, remove this cup from me. Uh huh. Nevertheless, not my will. Christ said, "What." Nevertheless, not my will. Yeah, Christ ain't come to do his own thing. But thine mm -hmm. be done. Mm -hmm. And there appeared an angel unto him from heaven, strengthening him. Me and Sean, what? That thing is a heavy moment. You about to lay down your life. That thing is, a, and you knowing the details of how it's going to happen. Christ knew that thing from the beginning, how that thing was going to happen. So now he there at that moment of temptation. That's why the heavenly father sent that angel to, to strengthen him. Read. Oh, that was it? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, let's keep it moving. Yeah, let's get that Psalms 34. Let's the book of Psalms, chapter 34 and verse 6. Uh-huh. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him. So you, we, heard, we read an example of that in Acts. The church cried for Peter, read. And saved him uh -huh. out of all his troubles. Right, as Peter was delivered out of the prison. That's a troubling situation to be getting, about to be put to death by hair rod. Read. The angel of the Lord and oh, the, the what? The angel of the Lord uh -huh. and campeth round about them that fear him. Right. So that's who the angels is protecting, those that fear him. Like we read that in Job, seal the man instructions. So as he's going throughout the day, he's avoiding the sword and peril. Read. And delivereth them. Right. Again, we saw Peter get delivered, walked out the front gate of the prison. You know, so that thing, that that's some heavy stuff right there. We got to, uh, let's run this next video real quick. Oh, yeah, let's skip it. Yeah, let's, let's skip that video. Let's go to Maccabees. Let's go to uh, 2 Maccabees. Watch this. 2 Maccabees chapter 10. Book of 2 Maccabees chapter 10 and verse 27. So after the prayer, they took their weapons. So what? After the prayer, so after the prayer, they took their weapons. They took their weapons. So they put the spiritual first, man. Read. And went on further from the city. Mm -hmm. And when they drew near to their enemies, 
they kept by themselves. Right. So this is we're going to account reading one account in the history of the Maccabees, man. Our, our forefather uh, Maccabeus. Read. Now the sun being newly risen, they joined both together. Mm-hmm. The one part having together with their virtue, their refuge also unto the Lord mm. for a pledge of their success and victory. Mm. They had faith. Read the other side, making their rage leader of their battle. Uh huh. But when the battle waxed strong, they appeared unto the enemies from heaven. Oh, they appeared what? Unto the enemies from heaven. Read. Five comely men. Hold up. Five what? Comely men. So five handsome brothers. Upon horses. Riding on horses. With bridles of gold. Damn. With golden belts on. And two of them led the Jews. Mm. And took Maccabeus, but twixt them, mm-hmm. and covered him on every side with their weapons. What? Hold up. <laughs> Read that again. Verse 30. And took Maccabeus, but twixt them. So they, they put Maccabeus between them. And covered him on every side with their weapons. Right, with their weapons. They got the real weapons, not these stupid guns and spear at that time, arrows or whatever they had. Read. And kept him safe. Uh-huh. But. Shot arrows and lightnings. Hold on, they they shot what? Arrows and lightnings. They shooting lightning, man. Against the enemies. Uh Uh-huh. So that being confounded with blindness. And they blinded them. And full of trouble. And for, you know, it was just mass panic when that happened. Five brothers showing up on horses with golden belts, lightning bolts coming out of their hand, people getting blinded, blown up, electrocuted. You already know that thing was... Crazy in their eyes, man. Read. They were killed. Uh huh. And there were slain of footmen 20,500. Damn. And 600 horses. Put them straight to death out there on the battlefield, man. Understand that thing. That's some serious. That's some serious. Yeah, that's it on that. That's a serious story right there, man. I, I, I couldn't even imagine how that thing looked. They said weapons on every side. Come on, man. Let's get this songs. And that, that shows you that the, the angels know, know about battle formations. They ran, they ran that perfectly with Maccabees between them. Mm-hmm. So they're ready. The book of Psalms, chapter 91 and verse 1. Mm-hmm. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Uh-huh. I will say of the Lord. Right. That secret place is the scripture so you understand. I will say of the Lord. He is my refuge and my fortress, Uh my God, in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. Mm. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings thou shalt, shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night. Nor of the arrow that flieth by day. Right. So we this is going to nuclear destruction. But also we read we just read an account of Maccabees where the, the, our forefathers was literally covered by the angels. Man, yep. read. Nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness. Mm-hmm. Nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. That's going into nuclear destruction. That's why those ICBM missiles have been uh, invented for the destruction, man. For the destruction of the ungodly and the wicked, man. Read. A thousand shall fall at thy side, uh-huh. and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Mm-hmm. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee. You see that? There shall be no evil before those that put their trust in the Lord, that keep the commandments of God. Read. Neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling, for he shall give his angels. He shall do what? Give his angels uh-huh. charge over thee uh-huh. to keep thee in all thy ways. We read that again at Job. Read. Oh, that's- all right, so let's go ahead to um, the book of Sirach 23. Because the angels got a big job. They got a real big job. Go ahead, 23 and 19. So the book of Sirach, chapter 23 and verse 19. Start at uh, 18. Verse 18. A man that breaketh wedlock, saying thus in his heart, who seeth me? So, you know, you got people out there, they they creep, they uh, go out at night. So why creep? Uh, yeah, man. <laughs> 
He know how it is. That's what they're doing. So they say, who's seeing me? Like, they, they got all their bases covered. They got their phone turned off. They got tense. scoped everything out. Go ahead and read. Who seeth me? I am compassed about with darkness. Because they at night. The walls cover me. They in the hotel, off in the cut. And nobody seeth me. Read. What need I to fear? The Most High will not remember my sins. Read, read verse 19. Such a man only at the eyes of men. Because the only thing that they're concerned about is just getting caught by a man. They don't really care about the laws and that word about the, They don't understand that the Most High is an angel sitting right in the room with them. The whole time while they're doing what they're doing, it's an angel right there watching and recording everything. Read. And knoweth not that the eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the sun. Read. Beholding all the ways of men. It says, beholding all the ways of men. So even though they're in the hotel, they didn't turn off their phone. They didn't got their cover story with their buddy and all of that. Everything is being seen and recorded by the Most High, by his angels. Read. Beholding all the ways of men and considering the most secret parts. The most secret parts. Meaning that he think that thing is a secret, but it's known to the Most High God. So let's jump to Sirach 17. You want to read verse 20? Yeah, you can read verse 20. Go ahead. He knew all things ere ever they were created. Read. So also after they were perfected, he looked upon them all. Because God knows, he knows your heart. He knows what you're going to do before you even do it. He, he knows everything. So there's no, you're not getting away with nothing. Let's jump down to, uh, let's go back to Sirach 17. Mm -hmm. and the, 17. The book of Sirach chapter 17 and verse 17. For in the division of the nations... Of the whole earth. He said a ruler over every people. So all the nations got their own rulers that, that, that set up over them. But let's see what God says about Israel. But Israel is the Lord's portion. Because we God's chosen people. That's why when you go to Psalms 96 and 5, it tells you that, that their gods are nothing. They got idols for gods. Read, read verse 18. Whom being his firstborn, he nourisheth with discipline. And giving him the light of his love doth not forsake him. So the nearest us with discipline is his laws. That's what we got because none of the other nations got God's laws. Read, read verse 19. Therefore all their works are as the sun before him. So he got his eye on every move that we make as a people. Because we got the commandments from, uh, from the Most High God. We, we got the covenant. Read. And his eyes are continually upon their ways. So... Guess what his eyes are? The angels. Yeah, read verse 22. None of their unrighteous deeds are hid from him, but all their sins are before the Lord. All our sins are being recorded. That's why we got to be mindful and make sure that we do our best to keep the commandments. Let's jump to uh, Proverbs 15 and uh, 3. Fifteen to three, the book of Proverbs, chapter fifteen, and verse three. The eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the evil, so your sins and the good and your good works. So it's important that we keep doing good works because He's got His eye on us. Every move that we make is being recorded. So let's jump to um, let's get the uh, let's jump to Genesis twenty eight, and then we're gonna get a video. Genesis 28, because we're dealing with the angels. So the angels are God's uh, eyes and ears on earth. The book of Genesis, chapter 28 and verse 12. And he dreamed, and behold, a ladder set up on the earth, and the top of it reached to heaven. And behold, the angels of God ascending and descending on it. You see that? So the angels going back and forth between the heavens. Guess what they're doing? They're going up there with the Most High God, giving reports. Mm -hmm. So let's, let's run the video real quick. Let's get the video of, uh, of the UFO. Let's get that.
I don't know if y'all can see those chariots. Uh, they're going to play it again. It's going to blow it up so y'all can see those chariots going across the moon. And your man trying to fly SpaceX out there. Look how fast they going across the surface of this moon, man. Thousands of miles an hour. And look at the size of them. So for y'all conspiracy theorists, that's why the white man ain't been back to the moon yet. Because the angels, they're guarding it. Hey, look, they got up there and they got shut down. That's what happened. They've down. They been up there. They went up there one time and they said, nah, we're going to let y'all handle that up there. <laughs> they went up there and seen them, them gatekeepers. Can you imagine you go up there, you see black angels, man, no helmets on, no nothing, just sitting there, ten wide feet, noses, breathing, breathing. Ten, 15 feet tall. Man. That's why the white man ain't went, went back to the moon. He shut that down. Let's go down to Colossians. The book of Colossians, chapter 1, one and verse 14. In whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. So this is talking about Christ. So through his blood, uh, we got forgiveness of sins. Go ahead and read. Who was the image of the invisible God. So guess what? He looks like God, like the most high God. So when you read, uh, what's that, Daniel 7 and 9. And it uh, gives you a description of the Most High God. You read Revelations 1 and 14. They look alike. Read. Right. Christ said it himself in John 14, though. You seen me, you seen the Father. He, that's crystal clear. The firstborn of every creature. So he was, the first, he was the first thing that the Most High God created was Christ. Read. For by him were all things created. Let's read that again. For by him were all things created. So by Christ were all things created. Read. That are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible. So Christ made everything, the stuff you can see and the stuff you can't see. Read. Whether there be thrones or dominions. So he didn't set up the governments. The people that's running the governments now, even Trump was set up by Christ. Mm -hmm. Dang, go on. Read. <laughs> or principalities or powers. All things were created by him and for him. Read. And he is before all things. And by him, all things consist. So guess what? Guess who created the angels? Christ. That's who did that. Read. And he is the head of the body, the church, who was the beginning, the firstborn from the dead. Keep that, reading. that in all things he might have the preeminence. Meaning what? That he runs everything. Right under God is Christ. He runs everything. The angels, all of that. That's all under Christ. That's what that's telling you right there. Let's jump to uh, First Peter's. That's a real powerful scripture, man. Because that's something he come back, he's going to be doing so much damage with that army he coming back with. But just imagine, though, you got all that power, and then you had to come down on earth and deal with these uh, humans, man, and get put to death. <laughs> Can you imagine when he come back, what he gonna do to the people man. that killed him, man? I, I don't wanna know, man. It's gonna be a terrible thing. Yeah, that's why he gave him a warning. He was like, if you ain't know, I, I could bring legions right now if I wanted to. But that wasn't the most high's will at that time. But it is in the future. First Peter 3 and verse 21. The like figure wherein too, even baptism doth also now save us, not putting away of the filth of the flesh. So it's not talking about the baptism of water, because I know we had some people leave because they think you got to be baptized in the water. It's not talking about that. Read. But the answer of a good conscience toward God. So that's talking about what? Washing your sins away by keeping the commandments. Mm -hmm. That's what that's going into. Read. By the resurrection of Jesus Christ, who has gone into heaven. And is on the right hand of God. And he's where? On the right hand of God. Read. Angels and authorities and powers being made subject unto him. You see that? Christ running the show up there. That's what that's saying right there. He created them all. He running it all. I can't imagine. You had all that power. And then you come down on earth as a man and you got to deal with the niggas. Coons and all that. And the Edomites. Man, that's a man, that's something right there. That's that's humility right there, bro. It definitely is. Let's go to Matthew 26. The book of Matthew, chapter 26, and verse 50. 
And Jesus said unto him, Friend, wherefore art thou come? Then came they and laid hands on Jesus. So this is Christ. He was talking to Judas. Read. Then they came and laid hands on Jesus and took him. And behold, one of them which were with Jesus stretched out his hand and drew his sword and struck a servant of the high priest and smote off his ear. You see that? So, you know, because they was defending Christ. They was like, man, you ain't going to just come and take my mans like that. So he drew out the sword and chopped off his ear. Read. Then said Jesus unto him, put up again thy sword into his place. For all they that take the sword shall perish with the sword. But watch what he say. Thinkest thou not? Thinkest thou that I cannot now pray to my father? And he shall presently give me more than 12 legions of angels. You see that? He's like, look, man, I can call my father and send down 12 legions of angels to handle these niggas. Right. right. right Make now. a phone call right uh, now. Right I mean, now. they be there on the spot. Bruh. That's what that's talking about. 12 Dang. legions. Not, what, what make up a legion? That could be I don't like 100,000. Yeah. Yeah. That's a whole legion. Man, can you imagine something like that just show up like that? Presently, he said, not, not a minute, not two minutes. Straight to death. Not now, man. Right that way. right there. That's something right there. That's some power right there. Damn. Verse 54. But how then shall the scriptures be fulfilled? Because he had to die for our sins. So that wouldn't have been fulfilled. If he would have did, I'm sure he wanted to do it. Because yeah. I know he was mad as hell. He was like, man, I should put these jokers to death. But he was like, nah, if I don't do this, if I don't fulfill this prophecy... Like, man, yeah. I'm sure I'm no, he can't wait. He's just sitting on the edge of his seat up there on the throne, just waiting for the word to come down. He just said, Not yet. Yeah. That thus it must be. All right. So let's go to Psalms 103, 19 and 22. And that's why you see in all this thing, you see in all the sightings of the chariots out there, SpaceX, Space Force, all this other stuff. They know what's popping off. That's why. This, these uh, these shows and, and the videos, the classroom videos, what the bishop is bringing out is so important. You're looking at the the, uh, the the beginning stages of a galactic battle, man. Well, it ain't going to be much of a battle, but you're looking at the return of Christ forming, man. So you're sitting out here playing around, being foolish, uh, hating your brother, hating leadership, and all this other stuff. Why you got the, 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 the armies of heaven lined up to come down here and do some damage, man. We better get it together. The book of Psalms, chapter 103 and verse 19. The Lord hath prepared his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom ruleth over all. So God's kingdom runs everything, which we know. Read. Bless the Lord, yea, his angels that excel in strength, that do his commandments. That do what? That do his commandments. So you ain't going to, ain't no angel going to be second guessing or nothing like that. Well, that's Charlie. I know Charlie. I ain't going to do nothing to him. Nah, if, if God say, look, Charlie got to die, he going to follow that command and put Charlie straight to death. That's so, what that's telling you right there. So if angels, which are greater than us, keep the commandments, what does that say about us being lesser creatures? Yeah, we gotta, <laughs> Negroes is the only dysfunctional creation of the Lord. <laughs> that's what that's saying. Read that. Read verse 20 again. Verse 20. Verse 20, bless the Lord, yea, his angels, that excel in strength, that do his commandments, hearkening unto the voice of his word. That's telling you right there, the angels, man, they're they going to do what God say. They're going to be on the ball. Hey, let's get that real quick. Let's, let's go to Sirach 39. Uh, read 28 and gen, then jump to verse 31 for time's sake. Because that, that go right along. That's the precept for this. The book of Sirach, chapter 39 and verse 28. Mm -hmm. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, mm. which in their fury lay on sore strokes. Right. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force mm. and appease the wrath of him that made them. So you got angels, uh, you got specific angels just come down just to bring destruction. Yep. Verse 31. Verse 31, read that. They shall rejoice in his commandment. They're going to do what? Rejoice in his commandment. We just read that in Psalms. Read. And they shall be ready upon earth. They, they, what? They shall be ready upon earth. Right. The Lord ain't going to be calling up the angel in this voicemail. Lord, the angel's like, man, I'm tired, man. Nah, that's not happening. Read. When need is. Uh-huh. And when their time is come, mm -hmm. they shall not transgress his word. Right. So, do you get one of them angels that's just made for laying on sore strokes and you being evil and, and <laughs> you and his Rolodex? That's a bad day, man. Believe that. Hey, hey, so that's a good point because it's like the angels are obedient to the Father. So there's no, 
my uh, Christian brothers and sisters, there's no Satan versus God. No. The spiritual angel Satan is obedient to the Father. He's doing his job. Right. We read that Christ created, he even created Satan. Yeah. Understand that thing. We just read that out of the scriptures. He made everything, man. Man, the Christian's head just blew up here and that. Somewhere. Let's go to Psalms uh, 78. We're about to read it right here. Right now. Now, now that you uh, brought that up. The book of Psalms, chapter 78 and verse 47. Start at 47. He destroyed their vines with hail and their sycamore trees with frost. So this is going back into uh, the Exodus, the plagues that's put on Pharaoh. He's recapping it. Read. He gave up their cattle also to the hail and their flocks to hot thunderbolts. Read. He cast upon them the fierceness of his anger, wrath and indignation and trouble by sending evil angels among them. Hold on. There was some interference on the mic. Read that last part again. By sending evil angels among them. So I thought God and Satan was fighting. What's up with that? God sending evil angels. It's a tug of war battle. <laughs> hey, look, man. Christianity, man. Look, y'all got to come out of Christianity. They be lying to y'all and that thing, man. The Most High God controls all the spirits. So when you ain't doing what you're supposed to do, he's sending evil angels down to jack you up. It's just that simple. Let's go. Uh, let's run the video real quick. Meantime, UFO sightings in New York have nearly doubled since the pandemic began, and we are getting new video from the Navy showing pyramid-shaped objects flying in the sky. Brian Yenis is live for us in Brooklyn, New York. Brian, good morning. Trace, good morning. This extraordinary video and images of unidentified flying objects or UFOs were leaked to investigative reporter Jeremy Corbell and investigative reporter George Knapp. This night vision video purportedly shows three pyramid-shaped UFOs flying over the USS Russell off the coast of California in July of 2019. At one point, these UFOs reportedly hovered just 700 feet above the tail of the Navy destroyer, making, quote, extraordinary maneuvers. Now, Corbell says the unclassified video is part of a classified government report intended to educate officials about unidentified crafts flying over restricted airspace. These cell phone photos taken by a FA-18 pilot in March of 2019 show three different unidentified aircrafts off the coast of Oceania, including two UFOs dubbed the Metallic Blimp and another called the Sphere. A Department of Defense spokesperson said, quote, I can confirm that the referenced photos and videos were taken by Navy personnel. The Unidentified Aerial Phenomena Task Force has included these incidents in their ongoing examinations. However, the Pentagon was unwilling to confirm these three photos photos, which Corbell says came from the USS Omaha, showing a UFO diving into the ocean and disappearing. That is an extraordinary piece of technology. Whoever is operating these technologies are far more advanced than anything we have in the U.S. arsenal, and, and that should be a warning sign. We need to find out the intent of the operators of these vehicles. Extraterrestrial or, or not, a bombshell UFO report is expected in June from the U.S. government. Hmm. Trace. Look forward to that. Brian Yenis live for us in New York. Brian, thank you. Hey, the most high giving them uh, like a warm up. What's it? He flexing on Right. Them. He said we need to find out the intent. The intent is Obadiah. Yeah, that's, that's the, the intent. All, the you get intent all the is, intentions in that book for you. The intent is Esau being eradicated from off the face of the earth. That's what that is right there. That's your end. That you see coming. Yeah, the intent, they got to watch that first part of Independence Day. Just the first half. That's it. Yeah. That's the Forget Will Smith jumping out, kicking an alien. <laughs> that ain't going to happen. <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, look, the Coons ain't going to be able to save America in that day. I'm going to tell you right then, they're going to burn up right with it. Go to uh, 1 Kings 22. The book of 1 Kings, chapter 22, and verse 19. And he said, Hear thou therefore the word of the Lord. I saw the Lord sitting on his throne. So this is a vision. He's seeing the Lord sitting on his throne. Read. And all the host of heaven standing by him on his right hand and on his left. So he's talking about angels. So you see the Most High God standing 
on his throne or sitting on his throne with the angel standing next to him. Read. And the Lord said, who shall persuade Ahab that he may go up and fall at Ramoth Gilead? Because he was wanting to put Ahab to death. Ahab was a wicked king. So he said, look, this Negro got to go. Read. And one sit on this manner and another sit on that manner. So what is that showing you? That God is counseling. He's counseling with the angels. Read. And there came forth a spirit and stood before the Lord and said, I will persuade him. So a spirit came forth and said, this is what I'm going to do. I got something the most high God. Read. And the Lord said unto him, wherewith? So God said, how you plan on doing this thing? Read. And he said, I will go forth and I will be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. Hold on now. We just lost some more Christians, man. <laughs> Hold on. The, don't the scriptures say don't bear false witness? Yeah, we just lost some more Christians, man. Their heads just blew up. They they ain't never read this. They don't read the Old Testament anyway, they don't, man. They don't read, period. Yeah, that's true. Straight up. They don't read at all. And the Lord said unto him, wherewith? And he said, I will go forth, and I will be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. Read. And he said, thou shalt persuade him. And prevail also. So God said, okay, that sounds like a good idea. Handle that. Why didn't he say, brother, thou shalt not lie, brother? <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, man. Go ahead, read. And prevail also. Go forth and do so. Now, therefore, behold, the Lord hath put a lying spirit in the mouth of all these thy prophets. And the Lord. And hath, the who? And the Lord has spoken evil Hold concerning... On, the Lord did what? Has spoken evil... I just wanted to make sure they heard that. Read. Concerning thee. You see that? So the Most High said, I'm going to put this Negro to death. That angel that, that wanted to put that lying spirit on the prophets, go ahead and handle your business. Go ahead and kill that wicked king. That's what he said. So look, so y'all, you know, all that the devil is underground with a pitchfork and all of that stuff. That stuff... <laughs> That stuff is a fairy tale. I'm telling y'all, Christianity is a fairy tale, period. The whole thing is a fairy tale. All right, let's go to uh, First Chronicles. This going to really blow up. Y'all might as well just get off, get off the YouTube now. Because y'all, once he read this right here, y'all going to be done. Read that, read that on, on First Chronicles. First Chronicles chapter 21 and verse 1. And Satan... Stood up against Israel. And who? And Satan stood up against Israel. Read. And provoked David to number Israel. So let's let you know that Satan. So now, um, I know it's, it's back in Kings where I read it, or uh, where it talk about, I think it's Kings where I read it, where it's talking about how God used uh, David because it was wicked Israelites that he wanted to kill, and that's why he had a number of people. No, it's Samuel. I'm sorry. It's Samuel. Second Samuel. But uh, I'm not going to go into that now. Let's just keep, keep it moving. Verse 2. And David said to Joab and to the rulers of the people, <clears throat> Go number Israel from Beersheba to Dan and bring the number of them to me. That I I jump to verse 8. Verse 8. And David said unto God, I have sinned greatly because I have done this thing. But now I beseech thee, do away the iniquity of thy servant. For I have done very foolishly. Okay, so let's jump down to the yeah, 11. So Gad came to David, verse 11. So Gad came to David and said unto him, Thus saith the Lord, choose thee. Even so this is the punishment. So David sinned. Satan, Satan provoked uh, David to sin. David sinned. So now this is the prophet Gad coming to him with an ultimatum. He's got to make a choice. Read. Verse 12. Either three years famine... Or three months to be destroyed before thy foes. So he said, either you're going to have three years of famine or three months to be destroyed by your enemies. So the nations around you, you're going to be destroyed by them for three months. Read. While that the sword of thine enemies overtake thee, overtaketh thee, or else three days the sword of the Lord, even the pestilence in the land. So he said, or three days of pestilence. And the, and the Lord swore in the land, meaning death in the land for three days. So that's the decision that he got to make. And the angel of the Lord destroying throughout all the coast of Israel. So now, hold on now. <laughs> Read that part again, man. Let's and the it. angel of the Lord destroying 
throughout all the coasts of Israel. So that's letting you know what God was using to destroy Israel. Read. Now, therefore, advise thyself what word I shall bring again to him that sent me. All right, so jump down to, where are we going to? Oh, yeah, we're going down to 16. Read. Verse 16. And David lifted up his eyes and saw the angel of the Lord stand between the earth and the heaven, having a drawn sword in his hand, stretched out over Jerusalem. Can you imagine seeing that, man? An angel with a sword in his hand, just stretched out, and people just dropping dead. And if he was in the sky, how big was that angel that he could see him? Man. Read. Then David and the elders of Israel, who were clothed in sackcloth, fell upon their faces. Okay, so that's good right there. All right, so let's jump down to, let's see, let's jump to, let's go to Acts. Look at that. So that's letting you know, man, the angels are powerful, man. You're just seeing like, man, that's some power right there. The book of Acts, chapter 12 and verse 21. And upon a set day, Herod, arrayed in royal apparel, sat upon his throne and made an oration unto them. So he get out there, Herod, he all dressed up in his, in his high, you know, in his, his, his gear. He'll get out there and run his mouth. Let's see what he say. And the people gave a shout, saying, it is the voice of, of a God. And not of a man. So <laughs> they say that this devil <laughs> is the voice of God. Damn. That sounds like today with they CNN re- yeah. uh, and, and black yeah. people repeating everything Joe Biden oh, said. Cool oh, Joe. Oh, yeah, cool Uncle Joe. Joe. Uncle Joe. Y'all niggas ain't black if you don't vote for me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Meanwhile, this man sitting somewhere with a diaper on. He don't even know where he at. <laughs> That's the president of the country. He can't make it upstairs. He got cue cards on a, at a press conference. This dude's a total idiot, but our people just think that he's going to save black people. He ain't did a damn thing for him yet. Yeah, read. Verse read. 22. And the people gave a shout, saying, it is man. Read. And immediately the angel of the Lord smote him. So the angel came out and put that bound straight to death. So I'm going to kill this wicked Edomite right here on the spot. Read. Because he gave not God the glory. Because we read earlier that Christ set up the principalities. God sets up these men. They, when you read back through the scriptures, it was, it was leaders that knew they were set up from other nations that knew they were set up by the Most High God. Read. And he was eaten of worms and gave up the ghost. Damn, can you imagine that? He got ate up of worms just that quick. He dropped dead and the worms just started eating them up. Man, that's crazy as hell right there. Damn. All right, go ahead, Austin. Yeah, that means the worms had a commandment to fulfill. And they say, yes, Lord, we will do so. It was voracious. Hey, um, put, up, put up the image of the angel, uh, the one that shows uh, Ezekiel 1, the one with the gold wings. Put that up. I'm about to read this in Ezekiel. We're going to try to go through these quick. Ezekiel 1 and 13, the image. Put that up. Let's get that, officer. The book of Ezekiel, Ezekiel chapter 1 and verse 4. verse 4. And I looked, and behold, a whirlwind came out of the north, a great cloud. So and hold on. No, not that one. Give me, the, uh, give me the other one. Give me the other one, the gold wings. Gold wings. Gold wings. Let's read, read, read. The book read, of Ezekiel read. chapter 1 and verse 4. And I looked, and behold, a whirlwind came out of the north. A great cloud and a fire enfolding itself, and a brightness was about it. And out of the midst, there as the color of amber, out of the midst of the fire, also out of the midst thereof came the likeness of four living creatures. So you have this, you, you got to imagine it. Put up, it's, it's in the, it's in the uh, Telegram chat, bro. It's in the Telegram track. Yeah, it should be four photos in Telegram. Track. Yeah. Right. And he's describing a chariot in that thing, coming in there with the fire coming out the bottom of it, man. Also, yeah, right, there, right there, right Pull there. that up. Put that up. Also, out of the midst thereof came the likeness of four living creatures. Hey, so, so uh, now, so, like I said, a great cloud. That's that chariot right there. And out of that great, great cloud, it said, it's just like on Independence Day intro. It showed it was a great cloud coming in. And it was fire in the midst of that cloud. Read. And this was their appearance. 
Uh huh. Now had, it's about to show you the appearance of the creatures that came out of the chariot. They had the likeness of a man, and every one had four faces. So zoom in, zoom in on that. Yeah, zoom in on the faces. Zoom in on the faces. You gotta pull up. Kind of dark. Read on. There we go. And every one had four faces, and every one had four wings. Uh huh. And their feet were straight feet. And the sole of their feet was like the sole of a calf's foot. Uh huh. And they sparkled like the color of burnished brass. So this is a description of the uh, uh, of dark skin angels. These are black angels. Remember, God said, "I created man from the dust of the earth." And they, and God said, "We're going to make man in the image, in in, in our likeness." So meaning what? The angels were dark also. So this is a Precept describing dark tone angels, not them white little babies that that, that Esau be putting out there, white watching our images. When, when a dumb ass, uh, when a dumb sash. All right. Verse ten. As for the likeness of their faces, they four had a face of a man, uh -huh. and the face of a lion on the right side, and they four had the face of an ox on the left side. They four also had the face of an eagle. So these, these were the faces that, yeah. that, that they were describing. The ox, the ox, the lion, the angel, I mean the eagle, and the man's face. Verse, six, verse 16. Mm -hmm. The appearance of the wheels and their work was likened to the color of a barrel. So these are the chariots. It said the appearance of the wheels. And Read. they four had one likeness. And their appearance and their work was as it were a wheel in the middle of a wheel. You see that? The wheel within the middle of a wheel. And you know, that there's been some sightings about them, them chariots, right. the wheel within the wheel. Esau <laughs> can't explain them. The Bible explains them. It's the Most High God's chariots. Now let's get, um, let's get verse 19. Hey, bring those pictures up. In the video. Verse 19. And when the living creatures went, the wheels went by them. And when the living creatures were lifted up from the earth, the wheels were lifted up. You see that thing? So these wheels was following the creatures around. Wheresoever the spirit was to go, they went. Wheresoever the spirit went, they also followed. Read. Thither was their spirit to go. And the wheels were lifted up over against them. For the spirit of the living creature was in the wheels. You see that thing? They controlled them. Right. So you know how people are all impressed with the Tesla car backing mm -hmm. out and parking. Nah, that already, that's in the scriptures, man. What do they call that thing? Autopilot? Something yeah, auto, like that? Yeah. Let's go to Acts. Acts 1. 1 and 6. You want to the pictures? Yeah, get that there picture up. Read that again. Verse 16. The appearance of the wheels and their work was like unto the color of a, of a barrel. Yeah, that's the Ezekiel's will right there. They, 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 they following them. And uh, scroll to the next one. No, nah, that's a picture. Let's, 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 picture. Learn. let's get Acts 1 and 6, bro. We got 22 minutes. Acts 1, 6. The book of Acts chapter 1 and verse 6. When they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, Will thou at this time restore again the kingdom of Israel? Uh-huh. So they asked him, hey, Lord, are you going to restore the kingdom of Israel? Because we was in captivity. They said, Lord, hey, <laughs> we in captivity by these Romans. Are you going to come to restore the kingdom? Read. And he said unto them, it is not for you to know the times or the seasons. Uh-huh. Which, which the Father has put in his own power. Read on. But you will receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Mm -hmm. And ye shall be witness unto me both in Jerusalem and all in Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Here's the point. Read. And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up and a cloud received him out of their sight. You see that thing? So even during this time, we, we understood what those chariots or UFOs that Esau causes, we understood what that was. We understood that was the chariots of the Most High God. So it wasn't like, oh, everybody's shocked. Oh, it's right. a sighting. Right. No, we understood what that was. And, and, what, 
And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, uh -huh. which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand you gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven. You see that thing? So these angels, these were angels saying, look, as the same way you see Christ come up in the chariot, you're going to see him return back in the chariot. But this time he coming with vengeance. All right, let's jump to, um, give me Revelations. That Revelations. thing heavy right there, man. Revelations 14, 14. The book of Revelation chapter 14 and verse 14. And I looked and behold a white cloud. And upon the cloud one sat like unto the son of man. Uh -huh. Having on his head a golden crown. And in his hand, a sharp sickle. Damn. You see that? Mm. And read on, read and on. A, and another angel came out of the temple, crying with a loud voice to him that sat in the cloud, thrust in thy sickle and reap. For, and reap. reap. And, for the time is come for thee to reap, for the harvest of the earth is ripe. You see that thing? So it got angels out there waiting, waiting for their purpose, their orders. All right, then let's jump to, uh, give me um, Psalms. Psalms 104 and 3. Psalms 104 and 3. The book of Psalms, chapter 104 and verse 3. Who layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters? Who maketh the clouds his chariot? Huh? Who Say that again. Who maketh the clouds his chariot? So during the day, it looks like a cloud. Reap, who walketh upon the wings of the wind, mm. who maketh his angel spirits, his ministers of flaming fire. And they're doing the night fire. We will get that. Would you, would you say an also? Hey, run the video, yeah, the video I just posted up. The, video up. up. the Independence Day. Yeah, the one we just posted up. The Independence Day, real quick. Yeah, jump, jump, jump up a little bit. Jump up a little bit. It's a, it's, it's a little, a little bit of back a little bit. Yeah, yeah, right there. So they took this right out of the scriptures: cloud and the fire, the fire and the cloud. That's exactly what's gonna pop go down. Bam. And these nations gonna be afraid. Let me get, uh, that's it, that's it. Let me get uh, Revelations 1 and 7. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds, uh -huh. and every eye shall see him. You see that thing? The, the Christ is returning with clouds, and every eye shall see him. Read. And they also which pierced him. And al also those Romans that were, were, were of old time, they're going to be back here, and they're going to see him with during his return. Read. And all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. And all nations going to be like, oh, man. They already know. When they see him, <laughs> they already know it's game over. Yep. They're yep. they going to make the connection quick. Oh, he back for them Negroes over there in America. Yep. The you damn persecuted. right. Hey, look. Anybody black show up, they already know it's an issue. You coming out the sky, a black man coming out the sky. They already know it's an right. issue. Right. Fried off, right. off the break. They just like, damn, it's over with. All right, go ahead and run the, run the video real quick. Here's what I want to know. Why have there been so many UFO sightings over our nuclear launch facilities? I mean, that's scary stuff. The Department of Energy, they have confirmed that there has been UFO sightings over every major U.S. nuclear launch site. And not only are these things showing up unannounced, uninvited, over restricted airspace, they basically park their ass over the underground nuclear launch facilities, and they're even able to somehow remotely disable 
the nuclear missiles in the process. So needless to say, it's scaring the hell out of the U.S. military and Congress and the Senate, they want to know what's going on. Author and investigator Robert Hastings has spent more than 40 years locating and interviewing military veterans, missile officers, and others who worked in various parts of the atomic weapons program, more than 150 of them so far. They've all told the same story. That, in fact, UFOs have routinely monitored our nuclear weapons going back decades and on occasion apparently have actually interfered with the functionality of those weapons. He called back five minutes later and this time he was very frightened, uh, very scared, uh, shouting into the phone saying that he saw he was he had his guards uh, there and they were seeing a, uh, a oval shaped orange red object uh, hovering just above the gate of our facility. And he was frightened. He wanted me to tell him what to do. What should he do? And so I said something like, make sure nothing comes in. Use force if necessary. But we had to protect uh, the weapons that we had. So he hung up the phone. And um, I went to tell my commander about this phone call. And as I was speaking to him, the missiles went into a uh, inoperable condition, what we called no-go. They could not be launched, and uh, we lost all 10 of them. Everything went red. All 10 missiles were disabled, every single one of them. We don't know who is piloting these craft or why they're poking around, but dozens of witnesses and thousands of pages of documents suggest someone is monitoring our nukes. The Department of Energy admits there's a long history of UFO activity over at nuclear weapons facilities. The I-Team's own FOIA request, filed in 1992, produced a thick stack of documents from the Department of Energy, indicating UFO incidents over every major atomic weapons facility dating to the late 40s. The incident at Malmstrom Air Force Base, Montana in 1967 did involve uh, the appearance of a saucer-shaped object above a nu nuclear missile launch site. Seconds later, all 10 of these missiles controlled by this site malfunctioned. And this is a clip from a new documentary film, the culmination of Hastings' years of research. The film includes chilling incidents where UFOs have not only infiltrated restricted airspace over nuclear missile bases, but on occasion have disabled ICBMs and put the military on high alert. In one dramatic incident from the film, military photographers using telescopic lenses watched yeah, give me uh, Revelations 1 and 7. Actually, you know what? No, hey, give me uh, give me uh, Revelation 7. 7 and 1. 7 and 1. Because this the, the reason why these angels are attacking these, uh, well, not necessarily attacking, but controlling these missiles is because of this right here. Read this. The book, Read of, this. Reve the book of Revelation chapter 7 and verse 1. And after these things, I saw four angels standing uh -huh. on the four corners of the earth. Mm -hmm. holding the four winds of the earth. Hold the four winds of the earth. Read. That the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. So all things will be done according to the will of the Father, according to his timetable. So they, he ain't going to allow them to launch no nukes, no missiles. He got these angels controlling right. all things. You know what's crazy? That those angels can spin up and launch those nukes. Yep. That's Read what you got to understand. Read on. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God. Mm -hmm. And he crowd with a, cried with a loud voice to the four angels, to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, hurt not the earth, neither the sea. You see that? So these angels got orders, commandments from the Most High. Read. Nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of of our God in their foreheads. You see that? So this must be fulfilled first before destruction comes upon the earth, before these nations go to war. And uh, the four winds, the precept for that is 2 Ezra 13 and 5. Hey, so let's, uh, let's go. we got to move quick. Let's go to uh, Revelation 11 and 8 through 12. The book of Revelation, chapter 11 and verse, and verse 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, Read. which spiritually is called Sodom. Uh-huh. That's and, all you sleep, sleep Israelites. Read. And Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. Here in Babylon the Great, also known as the United States. Read on. And they of the people and kindreds 
and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies three mm -hmm. days and a half and shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put into graves. Read on. Because they're not physically dead, but spiritually dead. And also known as destruct. They've been destroyed, like it says in Deuteronomy 28. Read on. And they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them. Uh-huh. Because they make it much money off of Israel. Read. And make merry. And shall send gifts one to another. Mm -hmm. Because these two prophets tormented them that dwelt on the earth. That's when we was in rulership. The southern kingdom and the northern kingdom ruled over all nations. Read on. And after three days and a half, the spirit of life from God entered into them. Uh-huh. That's these last days. That's why the prophets out there in the streets teaching. And Read. They, and they stood up upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them which saw them. You see that? The nations fear you. Read. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, come up hither. And they as ascended up to heaven in a cloud. You see that thing? So now, that means, remember, we read early in Revelations about, in uh, uh, what was that? What was that? Revelations 11? No. 7. We read in 7, it said the servants must be sealed. So those servants that are sealed, the chariots are going to come to collect them. Come up hither. Those servants that are sealed. Now let's go to, uh, uh, let me get Revelations, I mean Acts. Acts 1. Acts 1 and 10. The book of Acts, chapter 1 and verse 10. Well, yeah, let's, yeah, we got that one. Uh, no, read, that, read those. Read 10 and 11 again, and then we're going to jump to Isaiah. Verse 10. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven uh -huh. as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, mm -hmm. which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand you gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner, as you have seen him go into heaven. Yep, so the angels letting you know, hey, Christ is going to return with fire. Now let's get Isaiah 66 and 15. The book of Isaiah, chapter 66 and verse 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire. And with his chariots like a whirlwind. There you go. Is it? So here's another scripture saying the same thing. Mm -hmm. Read. To render his anger for vengeance. So look, the most high, I mean, Christ left, left saying, you know, in peace. Hey, I'm, this is the prophecy I'm going to fulfill. The angels let you know, hey, the more, everything is written. The prophecy's already laid out. Everything's already planned out. When he returns, he's going to return in like manner. But it's going to be for the destructions of these nations. Read. To render his anger with fury. So you got to think about it. Christ is so pissed off. His people, all these hundreds of years, have been persecuted, uh, robbed, spoiled, destroyed mentally, raped, robbed. All, nations turned against each other. Land stolen. Kingdom stolen. The earth being destroyed by Esau and these other nations. So he's real pissed off. Read. And his rebuke with flames of fire. And that nuclear fire going to come. So those angels that's holding it back, they going to unleash the beast then. <laughs> hey, that's it on that? Read. For, for by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh. That pleading is war. That's what that pleading is going to be. He will plead with all flesh. That's that nuclear fire coming down. Now let's jump to uh, Luke. And the slain of the Lord shall be many. Yeah, it's going to be a lot. A lot of destruction that day. Luke 21. The book of Luke chapter 21 and verse 25. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars. And upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity. The sea and the waves roaring. Men's hearts failing them for fear mm -hmm. and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. You see that thing? These, these nations going to be shaken all up. There's going to be much confusion going on. Read on. And, they, and then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. Damn. See that thing? So now Christ is even prophesying about his return. In coming I mean, back in a cloud, read. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. That's when they. That's when the angels are gonna say, "Come up hither." 
You see that thing? So, hey, hey all, all these scriptures tie together. So let's get, um, now let's jump to Psalms. The, Psalm 68 and 17. The book of Psalms, chapter 68 and verse 17. The chariots of God are 20,000, even thousands of angels. What? Say that again. The chariots of God are are 20,000. So that means these these chariots, also known as UFOs, is how many? 20,000. 20,000. Even thousands of angels. Even thousands of angels. The angels not even numbered. It just says it's thousands of them. Read. And the Lord is among them, as in Sinai, in the holy place. Damn. Hey, now let me get jump to uh, Exodus 13 and 21. Exodus 13 and 21. The book of Exodus, chapter 13 and verse 21. And the Lord went before them by day in a pillar of a cloud. You see that? So now this is doing the Exodus. The Lord Christ went before them, led them out of Egypt in a what? Read. And a pillar of a cloud. Uh-huh. So during the day, it was a cloud. And during the night, read on. To lead them the way. And by night, and a pillar of fire. And during the night, it was a fire. Read. To give them light. To go by the day and night. Read. He took not away the pillar of the cloud by day, nor the pillar of fire by night from before the people. So that means when we was leaving out of Egypt, guess what? Christ was there leading us out with a chariot. Hey, now let's jump to Exodus 14, 14 and 19. The book of Exodus chapter 14 and verse 19. And the angel of God, which went before the camp of Israel, removed and went behind them. And the pillar of the cloud went from before their face and stood behind them. So now this is when, this is when the Egyptians was trying to come get us. So the pillar went from the front to the rear of the people. During that time to protect Israel. You got something else? And, and it came between the camp of the Egyptians uh -huh. and the camp of Israel. Yep. And it was a cloud and darkness to them. You see that? It was a what? A cloud and darkness to them. So that, that's a strange thing to see. A cloud and darkness. See. Yeah, so they blind. Like, what the hell? What's going on? But, you know, that's the same thing that happened when the plagues came yep. on the yep. Egyptians. Same thing. In Goshen, where we were at, we were fine. But they was being persecuted and plagued. But it gave light by night to these. You see that? That's wow. And this is in the same space. On one side is darkness. On the other side is light. So that the one came not near the other all the night. You see that? Hey, all the night. Yeah. Hey, let's jump. Let's move quick, bro. Let's get Daniel 7 and 9. Daniel chapter 7, verses 9. The book of Daniel chapter 7 and verse 9. I beholdeth till the thrones were cast down. Uh-huh. And the ancient of days did sit. So we be, behold, when all the other nations were cast down. Read. And the ancient of days did sit, meaning the most high God. Whose That's, garment was white as snow. Uh-huh. And the hair of his head like the pure wool. So the most high has a pure, woolly, mighty Afro, read. His throne was like the fiery flame, uh huh, and his wheels as burning fire. Can you see that, and his chariots was was around him. Would, would you say jump to fifteen, thirteen, verse thirteen? I saw him in the night visions, uh huh, and behold, one like the son of man came with the clouds of heaven and came to the ancient of days. And they brought him near before him. You see that? So even Christ came to the ancient of days in a chariot. You see that thing? So look, throughout the Bible, it's, it's, this is how they traveling. Right. Christianity think you, that he would literally be floating on like a cloud in the sky. Yep. No. You've never seen fire come out of no clouds, man. Now let's get this last verse. Zechariah. Zechariah Zachari 5. Zechariah 5. And this is going to be the last script right here of Zechariah chapter 5 and verse 1. Then I turned and lifted up mine eyes and looked and behold a flying roll. A flying roll. This is a, your chariot or UFO. Read. And he said unto me, what seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying roll. 
The length thereof is 20 cubits, and the breadth thereof 10 cubits. Hey, so like that video we saw earlier with the chariots going over the moon. That looked right there look like a, a roll. You know what I'm saying? Like a darn Subway sandwich flying across there. Read on. <laughs> Read on, bro. Then he, say, then he said unto me, this is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. Mm -hmm. For everyone that stealeth shall be cut off as on this side according to it. And everyone that sweareth shall be cut off as one on that side according to it. I will bring it forth. Say it, the Lord of hosts. So, so these flying roses bring in destruction in the earth. Read. And it shall enter into the house of the thief. Yep. And into Babylon the, the great, the thief, and the into mighty the, thief. And into the house of him that sweareth falsely by my name. And it shall remain in the midst of his house and shall consume it with the timber thereof and the stones thereof. Then the angel, of the, the angel that talked with me went forth and said unto me, Lift up now thine eyes and see what is this that goeth forth. You see that? That thing heavy. Yeah. It said, and swear by my name. And God we trust. Right. Oh, yep. God bless uh -huh. America. And uh -huh. with that, with we, that say, we say shalom. 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 Christ, bless. Christ bless. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, Nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana. Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth. <laughs>